Hi, this is Nick from Soya Chinchao and today we are in Barcelona for a pretty exciting new launch. So even though MWC 2020 was cancelled, uh, Huawei has still gone ahead and launched a range of new products and the headlining product of course is the new foldable phone, the Huawei Mate XS. And I have it right here. So to find out everything you need to know, keep watching this video. So from first impressions, the Huawei Mate XS does not really look too dissimilar from the previous Huawei Mate X. You have a 6.8 inch screen in front, a 6.38 inch screen behind, and when you unfold it, it becomes a full-fledged 8 inch tablet. So a lot of people have concerns over the durability of foldable devices, and it's a fear that is not unfounded. But Huawei addresses this by saying that they've reinforced and redesigned the Falcon Wing hinge so that now there are a hundred or so components inside the hinge that supposedly makes it a lot more durable. So it does feel pretty rigid, but I suppose that's a good thing when it comes to these foldable smartphones. So it's pretty much an identical camera setup to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G. Uh, it's a quad camera setup which uh, is comprised of a 40 megapixel main camera, a 60 megapixel ultra wide, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a TOF sensor for the depth effect. Of course, it doesn't come with a selfie camera. Uh, just like the original Mate X, you turn it around and you use the main cameras for your selfie shots uh, using the secondary display behind. So I think that a really big upgrade for the Huawei Mate XS over the Huawei Mate X is that it's now powered by Kirin 990 5G. So along with the integrated 5G modem, you are getting global support for all 5G bands, uh, NSA and SA standards. And that's a really good thing when you know that not all 5G phones come with all of these standards supported. Uh, to sustain the device, you also have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery that can be charged at 55 watts. Uh, it's a little surprising that there isn't wireless charging on this. And something else that I noticed is that there is only a single speaker grill, which means that there are no stereo speakers. Software-wise, the Huawei Mate XS comes with EMUI 10.0.1, which is based off Android 10. Uh, as expected, we are seeing Huawei mobile services on the Mate XS. Additionally, what Huawei is also trying to do is put a lot more focus into the software aspect of the foldable device. So what this means is there is the app multiplier where you can use two screens within the same app or the multi-window feature where you, it's kind of like you can snap windows side by side. And overall, what Huawei is trying to do is it's trying to turn the foldable device from a uh, wow factor into something that's actually productive. So to get all of that, you're gonna have to pay quite a bit. Huawei says that this is going to retail for 2,499 euro in global markets sometime next month. So that's something like 11,300 ringgit, which is certainly one of the most expensive mobile devices on the market today, if not the most. And with global availability confirmed, we do expect the Mate XS to reach Malaysian markets soon because I think Huawei sees Malaysia as a key market in the region. So as far as initial impressions go, I do think that the Mate XS is a really, really nice phone. Uh, it's certainly not cheap, but it feels pretty rigid. Uh, I like how uh, it folds inward, unlike some of the other foldables we've seen, uh, because this means that you actually have a really nice, uh, you know, smaller display or half display, whatever you want to call it. But basically, Basically, this means that you get to use it folded and it's still pretty functional. So until the day that Huawei announces that the Mate XS is coming to Malaysia, I'm going to be doing a first impressions and sharing what I think about the Huawei Mate XS. So remember to come back to Search Intra for everything you need to know on the new foldable device from Huawei. Meanwhile, Huawei also announced a few new devices in addition to the Mate XS. So these include the MatePad Pro 5G, the new MateBook X Pro and the MateBook D14 and D15. The MateBook X Pro now comes with a 10th gen Intel Core processor, while the MatePad Pro 5G, as per its name, is a fully 5G supported device with a Kirin 995G SoC. And of course, if you want to find out more about these devices, stay tuned on soyachinchao.com. So that's all from the floor of Huawei's global launch event in Barcelona. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to give it a thumbs up, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification button to stay updated on any future videos. So this is Nick signing off from Barcelona. Bye.